Hey, God bless. Praise the Lord this morning. Ain't Jesus amazing? I just want to tell you, God bless you. And if you trust in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, man, he will He will carry you throughout. He will hold your hand no matter what you may be going through. I, I don't care what you're going through. It doesn't amount to the glory that will be revealed in Christ Jesus one day. So I want to tell you today, whatever you're going through, persevere, prayer. We fight our battles on our knees. We stand on our knees. <laughs> I heard a song last night. It was pretty good. It, it talks about how I stand on my knees, but um, that's so true. We fight on our knees. We we just know we take it to God, and He handles the rest. God is way greater than us. He's infinite. He's an infinite God, and He loves us. We're His children. So guess what? When we tell Him about, when we give it to Him, <laughs> what's He do for His children? He sent his, He sent Jesus down the cross to 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 make us become His children. You know, His true children, and give us a right. We're we're heirs to the throne. Which means we are, we are heirs to share glory, God's glory one day, you know, as his children. And, and, uh, it's just a wonderful thing to know these things. And I just want to say, God bless you and, uh, praise the Lord Jesus. And he, he made a way. <laughs> he is worthy to be praised. He is. And I got a little word for us this morning, real quick. And it says, uh, it's going to be in first Corinthians chapter three. And we'll start at, uh, we'll start at, Verse 18, let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. For the wisdom of the world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Let me tell you something. You remember, uh, and uh, Paul is a witness to these things. He, he wrote that. So you got to think about how Paul, he was persecuting the church. He was so zealous at the law. He was, you know, at, at, in the law that he he said he he was so zealous in the law that he he felt that he was he was prideful in it. In it. You know, he he felt as he if he didn't break the law, and he was so zealous in it, and so he persecuted the church because he felt like it was against him. You know, and it was it was pers- you know, and so and so one day finally, you know, he was met on the road to Damascus. And, and 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 Jesus made a fool out of everything he knew, and he was wise in where he was at. He was a rabbi in his area, and he made a fool out of him, and he became true. And he knew, and and God used him for one of the biggest purposes ever, through Jesus Christ. And I just want to tell you that sometimes we think we know things because we learn from this world, but sometimes he'll if 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 we if we if we just forget all that and get in that word and get to know the Lord, he will take all that we know and turn it into his purpose and his glory. You understand? And sometimes all of that, yes, he can use that for his for his purpose and glory. Because sometimes we think we know things and it becomes vanity. And don't let that happen. That's I just encourage you not to let that happen. Trust in the Lord, his word, because it happened to Paul. And look what the Lord used him for. You know, so God bless you. Have a blessed and wonderful day.